right? And in Android, it is a little bit um, easier, I promise, because we have just uh, need um, service um, API key and project number. And this project number, we can say um, sender ID. Yes, we can say it is sender ID. But in one signal, it is um, Google project ID. Yeah. Okay, guys, and now we have to go to a site that is um, developers.google.com slash mobile slash ad. You have to go there, yes, to create a project in um, this, right? You click on pick a platform, Android app, and then we have to name, and it is. Um, um, you can say anything. It is uh, not necessary. It's just to 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 identify your project. I say notification, and now you have to pass um, your project um, package. If you want to make sure, you can go to um, the App Native project, Android app. SRC and main and then we uh, you will see in um, Android manifest and right here I will show you and we have to copy that yes right here is um, the package name right here right and I have to copy this I don't want to type because I want to make sure it is correct and paste into um, Android package name you can choose your country as well right and click um, config the service as well that is really really easy to do right wait a second because my internet connection it is too slow maybe yes right and we have to click on um, cloud messaging because uh, notification is um, cloud messaging yes and enable cloud messaging and then nice we have this that i mentioned before service api key we have to copy this and paste in service api key right here and send the ID that I told you before in no um, one signal they call it Google project number but in Google they say it is um, send the ID it is the same and in the future we will need the send the ID yep so we don't have to close this for now and click save nice okay guys it is really really um, short to do it is completed configured and the next step we will um, config in react native but not in um, react native code we have to fix in um, ios project and android project because um, um, we can, it, it, it doesn't automatically um, config them we have to config them by hand by ourselves but it is not too much more difficult and if we got uh, if we get um, errors we will fix um, them together okay guys and now we have to open up our react native project mm -hmm. this is our react native project and first of all i would like to I would like you to open the official um, uh, its official plugin React Native One Signal to follow um, all installation like this. But um, the first, I would um, um, configure iOS project first, and then we back to Android. Yep. And first of all, we have to install plugin into our um, into our React Native project right here. 
yes we act need to one signal that is really easy to do if you are using make I would like you to put on sudo at the beginning of the command which means to run this as administrator yeah to avoid many problems right there it may take um, a little bit long time maybe I think because um, it is um, SDK yeah boom it's already okay and now oh one more thing I would like you to do is not to forget to say react native link please boom now install node uh, module because this is our project it just created so I haven't run it yet For the first time we should um, we have to install the node modules in our react native and then we will be able to boom this is why I would like you to say sudo at the beginning to avoid this problem it's a um, permission denied you have to put sudo at the beginning don't forget to do that this is um, the errors that come from um, permission deny yeah it has no permission to create folder or file into this part this is what, what I want you to say um, sudo at the beginning right? and it take um, a short time to finish mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and after this you have to say uh, react native link because we have um, installed library so we should say um, link to link iOS and Android project with the new um, plugin. Boom. And you will see. Right here, as you can see, we link um, one signal dependency and Android dependency, but we still also have to configure it by hand more and more. Right. Okay, guy, and now we have to open our iOS project, right? We have to open it to config that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. And you would see something like this, and you will see one signal library right here. Uh -huh. and we have to go back to this to see how we config right and we have to enable this in our react native project you have to click on this notification up on right here click on um, capabilities and enable post notification and this you have to choose uh, the, the developer account yes it's fine ah up. I chose it wrong oh mm, I chose this wrong I should go back and change that right here right here because I have two right it is fine for now I have two but I chose the other one the other one yeah and one more thing is about a background mode we have to enable background mode and choose um, remote notification as um, the instruction and here to this is to awake your phone while you are closing your phone and receive notification 
and then you can um, alert up uh, on users phones as well and the next step we have to add um, this we have to add this uh, yep as you can see right here you have to copy this command this command path and then you have to go to select on project and select on target and search for head the search now we follow them click on this and click on this and go to project setting and search for header search right here and you will see this um, header part yep mm. double click on this and you will see something like this and click by an add and pass your and pass um, our command if you don't see it um, up on the top right here and to um, change this to recursive but um, for now we have already added by um, react native link so this one we don't need to change anything because it um, completed for us already okay guys and now we have to change in um, app delegate yeah we have to copy this command and paste it into um, Mm -hmm. into appdelegate.h right here appdelegate.h we have to import um, one signal.h right here and paste it this um, variable under here right and then go back to app dot appdelegate.app and pass uh, many command right there uh -huh. We don't care about the um, problem. It would be fixed later. Okay, lunch. As you can see, we have to follow all of this as well. Um, did finish lunch with option? Did finish lunch with option? Yes, right here. And we can pass it right here. And this is where we put our ID. Yep. Right. To permission manually. Ah, I see. Um, right here is um, if you don't want it to ask for permission automatically, you have um, to say it false, which means when you um, open up phone, if you don't 